welcome to my very first YouTube video. This is going to be how to curl your hair like this. Um, a lot of my friends, just in my everyday life, have asked me how I do my hair and I told them that I would do a YouTube tutorial teaching them. Um, you don't have to be good at hair to do this. It's something that just takes a little bit of practice and then you could do this pretty much every day. It doesn't take a long time. So. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So first let's talk about what you're going to need. Any type of hairbrush, doesn't really matter which kind. If you have anything like this, like these little clips that can help section off your hair, that will be really helpful when it comes to making sure you get all the different parts of your hair curled. Some hairspray, it really doesn't matter what kind this technique isn't really dependent on hairspray to work. And then finally, most importantly, you're going to need a curling iron like this one. So this is just like a $10, really inexpensive Conair basic one inch curling iron. So very first thing we're gonna do, because my hair's not that dirty, is just kind of dirty it up with just a little bit of hairspray. Um, you don't have to be exact about this, but just so that it's not super clean. And then I'm going to leave out some sections in the front because that's the part of my hair that I'm really going to teach you the technique with because you'll be able to see it most easily. So we're gonna leave those sections out and then in the back, I'm gonna take kind of like the top side part and I'm going to just use one of those little clips I told you about and clip it up. And then I'm gonna take the top side part on the other side and just kind of do the same. And then I'm gonna redo this one. And then the stuff that's on the bottom left over in the back, I'm also going to clip that up just to kind of keep it out of the way for this tutorial. Okay, so we are ready to go. So, how do I do my hair? Well, the secret to this working is that you are going to start curling your hair from the top part of your hair. So, back in the day, you may have taken one piece of hair when you're a kid or something, you're curling your hair, or maybe even now, and you might pull your hair all the way to the bottom and roll up hold it there for a while, let go, and you have this nice little spiral curl. But then you feel like it doesn't hold. Well, the reason why it doesn't hold, in my opinion, is because you're starting at the bottom, and so the bottom of your hair is getting most of the heat, and this top part, it just, like, if I show you again, like, sometimes it's just not getting a good part of the curling iron. So especially if you're using any type of bigger piece of hair. So the secret to this working is that we're gonna start curling from the top. So you're gonna take a small piece of hair because it'll be easier to work with and kind of push the rest out of the way. You're gonna take your curling iron and hold it like normal. And then you're gonna put your finger on the top and then pull your hair out, put the hair in between the barrel and the clamp. The clamp is gonna be on the top. Can you see how it's on the top of the hair? So you could also curl your hair with the clamp on the bottom, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna do it with the, with the clamp on the top. So you're gonna do it on the top. Now, don't clamp down, okay? If you clamp down, you're gonna get a nice big crease right at the top of your hair. So it's gonna be important that you clamp and kind of turn at the same time. Do you see what I did there? I'm just kind of turning it like that. Now I can hold it there like that and it's not gonna crease because I'm kind of going with the shape of the curling iron. And then I'm gonna slide it out a little bit. Now if you didn't see what I did, I just used my finger and I loosened it a bit, the barrel just a little bit and I slid it down. And then you can kind of turn some more. I have my finger right here, my thumb now there, and I'm gonna loosen it, and I'm gonna slide down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn it some more. Now you can see I have my finger on here, so I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit, and I'm gonna slide down some more, and I'm gonna turn it, and then I'll loosen it a little bit, and I'm gonna slide down some more, and turn it and hold it, and then when I'm all the way to the bottom, I'm gonna use my finger, loosen the clamp, I'm gonna let go and I have this nice curl that's, you know, had the top part of the hair really exposed to a lot of heat. 
So I'm going to grab another piece of hair from over here and we're just going to practice again and I'll kind of talk you through it again. So you're going to put the clamp on the top so we're on the other side now and it may take you a little bit of practice to get used to doing both sides. Kind of turn it as you clamp. You can hold it there. I have my thumb right here and I'm going to loosen and slide and then turn. Now if this extra hair gets in the way, you can kind of pull it out of the way. Sometimes I like to keep my hand up here to kind of help guide it. Really it would be this hand. And then slide, turn. So you're using your thumb and your finger to help do the slide turn technique until you get to bottom and then you're gonna let it out. Okay, let's do another one over here. I think practice really makes perfect with this technique. Pull out another section. And you're going to put the clamp on the top. Kind of turn it as you clamp down because you don't want to get a crease. You can hold it there. Loosen it with your finger and slide just a little bit and then turn more. Loosen with your finger, slide a little bit and turn more. There's not an exact science to how much to slide or how far back up to turn. You just kind of do it. Turn and then let it out. So um, typically the things when I've taught people how to do this that have been troublesome for them are kind of just figuring out that wrist movement. And there's so many different ways to do it. You can hold both hands down here one hand up here to help guide it. You're just gonna wanna play around, but it's just this turn and slide technique that's really gonna get your hair to curl correctly. And as far as like how long to hold the curl, I mean, that's gonna depend on your hair's texture, how hot you have your curling iron. I have mine on the hottest setting. Um, it's not like the most amazing curling iron ever, so I don't know how hot it really gets. But um, I just feel like I, you know, so long as I'm really starting from the top and every section of the hair is getting a good amount of heat, I don't feel like I have to hold it there that long. And I think that that's part of what makes this method really so fast. Like I can really do my hair really, really fast. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So if I was in a hurry, I could take a big piece of hair. This isn't very big, but I could take a bigger piece and I could just do this. Do you see how fast I did that? I hold it barely and then I let it out and I have a pretty good curl. So I just demonstrated that just to show you that you really can learn to curl your hair really quickly. And this can be a really, really fast hairdo for you. Okay, one more time, since this is the last piece of hair I have down, you're going to put the clamp on the top of the hair, kind of turn as you clamp so you don't get like a nasty crease. You can use your hand up here to help guide, forefinger to loosen just a little to slide, turn, and then loosen a little bit, slide and turn. You can also keep your hands down here, whatever works. If the piece of hair that's left over gets caught, you can just kind of use your free hand to kind of let it out. The better you get at doing this, the less likely that will be to happen. And then let it out. Okay, so now I'm going to take the rest of my hair, the stuff that was back here up in the clip that I've let down, and I'm going to just curl that so that you can see the final product. So here goes. Okay, so now I have my whole hair 
my whole head basically curled, everything curled. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I do um, to kind of make it look a little better. Um, it's different every day, kind of depending on what I'm in the mood for, but you just kind of want to mess it up a little bit because obviously it's just too kind of like, the curls are too tight at first. One of the things that I like to do that I really think kind of like helps the look a lot is to go back in and just give the top a little bit more definition. So I'll pull a few pieces of hair out of the top and I'll get really close to my scalp with how I curl them or how up I, far up I curl them. And that right there is gonna just kind of give that top part of my hair some lift and it's gonna really help the whole look come together. So I just like pull out you know, a few pieces around the top of my head and really focus on those. So I'm gonna let that one out, maybe like a couple more. Nice. And then you can also kind of like turn your head over if you wanna make your curls even more loose to just kind of give it a better shape. And then I often like to just, you know, I'm not spraying every single curl. I'm just only kind of just spraying my head in general just to give it a little bit more texture. And that is the look. I hope it's been helpful. Um, please, please, please just leave me your comments and thoughts and suggestions in the comment box below. Thumbs this video up or share it or like it or whatever if it's helped you. And, um... Let me know what you think. If you have any pictures of you trying out this look, send them to me. If you have any more questions, I'm happy to do a follow-up video to this video, kind of talking about um, me addressing your questions. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day. Talk to you later. Bye.